Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance have a work order today. Customer says that her uh, microwave keeps tripping the breaker, can't cook anything for over five minutes. So it's obviously probably gonna be an amperage issue, whether it's the microwave is producing too many amps than what it should, or the circuit has too many amps on it. If it's in conjunction, maybe there's something else plugged in besides the microwave, we'll check that out. Or it could be a breaker is just tripping prior to the amperage that it should maybe the breaker's bad itself uh, so we'll dig into it see what we can find out i'm gonna put on the chest mount gopro uh, and i'll just see how much of it i can film hopefully i can film some of this but we'll see but i thought i'd take y'all along for the ride today and we'll see what we can find out all right so we're at the microwave uh first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check the back of it So it says this one should run at 8.75 amps. And she, she said she couldn't get over five minutes on it. So I'm gonna take my amp probe splitter. I'm gonna plug that in. Plug the microwave in. Get out my meter, set that to amps AC. going to cook it for let's say six minutes here she said five couldn't wouldn't work for her. we'll see what six does we'll see if it trips and then we'll see what at what amps that this trips or we'll make sure this microwave isn't running high because if it's running over that 8.75 significantly then that might be what the problem is it might just be a bad microwave In case you guys haven't seen a splitter like this, it basically separates your hot and your neutral to where you can put your clamp meter on to where I'm basically on just the hot wire and I'm able to get to see how many amps that I've got. I know some of you may be new to all this that's watching the channel, so I want to make sure to share that with you. So, so far it's running below the rated amp of 8.75, so unless something happens, when this trips, we'll, again, hopefully it will trip on us and we'll be able to see, but as of right now, it's probably about where it should be as far as the microwave itself. just tripped so we got the powers off i never saw it get up over you know it, it was hanging out there around seven amps so shouldn't be an issue as far as for tripping this it is on a 20 amp breaker also while this power was off it's only this outlet and this outlet here that is on that circuit uh, the other kitchen appliances this is a total separate circuit because so it's not a combination thing where you've got uh seven amps drawn from here and then maybe another 10 drawn from something else so we're gonna go out open up the panel i'm gonna reset it and i'm gonna put my amp clamp meter on the wire going to the breaker set this up again we'll see when it trips and if it trips you know still under the same amount of amperage i'm gonna go with it's probably the breaker we can see it's breaker 12 again 20 amp breaker it's also an arc fault breaker which I found that these go out a whole lot more often uh, than your normal breaker.
looks like guys we found the problem uh you can see here at this wire see if i can get a good look at it it's hard to get in there let me zoom in so as i zoom in guys hopefully you guys can see how bad this wire is uh it's basically been melted uh that's what's definitely causing the issue i'd say that it's what's causing this breaker to trip i've got enough slack in the wire i'm gonna try uh just re uh, stripping it back and adding that into here but i don't know we may end up needing to change this breaker out you can see right here the difference in that screw versus these others uh, i think this breaker might have caused some issues or it's at least got some damage to it as well So I'm not going to be able to strip these wires enough to get down to that breaker. So I'm going to have to add on to these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a new breaker. I'm going to go to the store and pick one of these up. Uh, so while I'm gone, I'm going to go ahead and, and stop filming. And then I'll pick back up here and we'll swap this out. We'll test everything and make sure we're still good. Got the new breaker. Uh, there's the part number on that. So I'm going to change out the breaker because this one, I can tell that it's... Uh, been arcing a lot inside of it there's a lot of uh i don't know what you'd call it almost like corrosion type thing on top of the screw is almost like a totally different color i'm not sure if you can see the difference uh between those on camera maybe if i get a flashlight and put on that one versus this one i'm not sure if you can see that again uh my guess is that that wire wasn't connected in here real well and it was causing that arcing type condition and then over time it's just melted that insulation off and again that's probably also why this was tripping uh, i'm gonna go ahead and change out this breaker just in case it's damaged it was pretty hot whenever i pulled it out and of course that's why it was tripping to start with uh, i don't know what the amperage was out here but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and change it. I'm going to have to cut these wires back. I don't have enough wire to get down to where the breaker is going to be going back in. So I'm going to have to tie some pigtails on top of this and wire those in. And then what we'll do after that is we'll plug in the breaker. We'll flip it on, uh, put my clamp meter back on this wire, run the microwave for, you know, six minutes again or so, see if it trips, but also watch the amperage here and make sure that it's all good. This way it's gonna be easier to get to the number. All right, we're gonna go start the microwave. Six minutes and 30 seconds. So with this being a 20 amp breaker, it should be able to go up to about 16 amps or so i think typically it's about 20 percent what you lose as far as before it should trip so as long as this microwave is staying consistent at this amount of amperage uh, i shouldn't get a trip condition and again i'm sure that the reason why it was tripping before was that there was an arcing condition that was happening with this wire so much that it ended up melting the insulation off the wire and again i can tell by the old breaker that you know that was a it was an issue that was that was going on with that but i don't know if the breaker was actually bad or if the wire had worked itself loose or if it wasn't tightened right in the first place or
who knows what it might be, but we're just going to find out now if this fixes the issue. And again, the, the microwave was 8.75 amps, so we're still right around that range. So it's not, it's not malfunctioning. So I'm just going to run this for about the six minutes. That's what we ran it for the last time. If it doesn't trip, I'm going to assume that the problem is fixed. Uh, we'll just tell them to keep an eye on it and let us know if it ever trips even one more time again so that we can come back and check this and make sure there isn't something else going on in that wire at some point in time that's causing some kind of problem. So now we see that the amperage is back down to zero. So I'm gonna go in and check the microwave, make sure there's still power there, but that tells me that the timer's off. So we've, we've been out here for the six minutes. All right, guys, I ran it through two cycles and so it's 12 minutes, no breaker flipped. The amperage didn't go up past eight on either time, but this microwave is extremely hot. And after the cycle is finished, it says end, and then the power goes off of it. And I still have voltage, but the microwave doesn't work until after it cools off for a certain period of time. So that leads me to believe that this might actually be the beginning culprit. There might be something wrong in this microwave that is causing an electrical issue. Again, why I'm not seeing that amperage spike, I don't know. Uh, but maybe it happens every so often and that's what caused the damage to the wire. And then that wire damage is what's been causing it to become for, more frequent now. Uh, so I have fixed the wire issue from the breaker panel to the plug. I've recommended to her to go ahead and get a new microwave because it's extremely hot. Like I said, I can't even hardly, I couldn't keep my hand on it for very long. I can, I mean, it's not so hot that you can't touch it. You know, this stuff's not gonna catch on fire or anything like that, but it's hot enough that I wouldn't wanna, I couldn't leave my hand on there uh, for an extended period of time. So you guys let me know what you think. Was it the microwave, the breaker? Which one came first? Uh, either way, the electrical side of it is fixed. I don't know about the microwave side, but again, let me know if this was useful to you. I uh, just wanted to take you along for the ride, let you see what I see. Uh, I hope we got it fixed for her. Again, I think it's the microwave. Still needs to be changed out. Uh, let me know what you think. Hope all is well with each and every one of you. Hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.